ZBrush 2019 is here, and with it, a host of new features to check out. I'm Foligon, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new folder system added in ZBrush 2019. One of the most anticipated features in the history of ZBrush, folders are finally here. They offer you the ability to organize your subtools a lot more efficiently now. But that's enough talking about folders, let's get in and take a look at how they work. For this demonstration, I'll be using some of the monsters that I created during the ZBrush beta. Over here in our sidebar, under the tool palette, I'll be opening up Subtool. And the first thing that you'll notice that's a little bit different than ZBrush 2018 is the visible count here. So we now have the ability to choose how many subtools we want to display at one time. So I'll just set this slider to maybe about 10 or so. And then the next big thing you're gonna notice here is that we have some beautiful little folders going on in here. And I have a folder created for each of my individual monsters. So first things first, the way we go about creating a new folder, I'll just scroll down here to my green dude, my green monster, and you can see that he is made up of five different subtools. And then I can move each of these subtools around individually. Now, if you guys remember in 2018, we got this awesome little pizza box button here that allows us to click that icon and select multiple subtools at once. And then we can transpose scale and rotate those around all at the same time. And now with the new folder system, we can actually click on new folder while we have this activated and ZBrush will ask us if we would like to add all of these subtools to a new folder. I'll go ahead and click on yes. And then of course we can tap on our folder to open that up and display the rest of our subtools. So now all my parts for my green monster are in one folder here, which is very nice for a lot of different reasons, but let's turn off our pizza box here before we continue forward. And then before we run down all the different options that we have within our folder icon here, you can see that we can click and drag and actually move our subtools around. So for some reason, I would like to slide one of these subtools up into my red characters folder. I can do that pretty easily. All right, now actually within the folder options, there's a bunch of different stuff in here. I'll run through them really quickly because a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. The first one, Transpose Set, is pretty much the exact same option that we got before when we activated our pizza box. And you can see that our teeth are no longer in our folder, so those are not coming with our character. So let's undo that. We'll turn that off really quickly. I'll drop my teeth in here, and then again, go back to Transpose Set. Next up is Transpose Add. So if you'd like to transpose multiple folders at once, you can come through, transpose a set, add additional or subtract additional folders. Duplicate will do exactly what it sounds like. We'll go ahead and click on that and you'll see that we have two folders now with two separate characters called green. I can transpose this, move them out of the way. Maybe this can be his little friend. Next up on the list is merge up, which does again exactly what it sounds like. We can take those subtools and merge them up. So now all of these subtools are in one folder and I can move and manipulate those as I please. We also have some nice options in here for quickly hiding and showing polypaint, as well as the ability to merge all of our subtools in our folder. And then down here, we can of course rename the folder, delete it, or delete everything within the folder. And for the final thing that we can do within our folders, which is one that I greatly appreciate, we can actually Boolean our folder. So let's very quickly turn on live Boolean I'll be setting my cube here and my cylinder to negative, which will make it appear like they disappear, but they are still here. And then I'm gonna slide this geometry over and have it cut into my sphere. And here we can see what that pre-visualization looks like. If we were to toggle off live Boolean, we can see how those are interacting. And before I Boolean all these together, I'm gonna to add in some quick subdivision levels so that I get a smoother result. Let's go up into our folder, click on the gear icon and Boolean folder. You can see that the geometry is no longer a pre-visualization, but actual physical geometry. Honestly, one of the best things about this entire feature is that it conveniently appends it to the bottom of your subtool list for you. Really, that's about it. There's not really too much else to say other than it's awesome that we finally have them. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Foligon, where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out. There's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.